just got Sony Vegas Pro 8 again. Let me close this key gen right there. See, that's not me playing that, but whatever. Um, exit the key gen. Well, this video isn't about me getting Sony Vegas Pro 8 cracked, even though it's cracked. This is about the 2.2 firmware release for I from Apple for the iPod Touch 2nd gen, the iPod Touch 1st gen, the all the devices, whatever. But, um, okay, if you, whatever. Uh, but, if you ultimately, ultimately want the 3G unlocked through software, do not update your freaking iPhone. Even if you want all the features like this much, don't update your iPhone. If you're on the first gen iPhone, sh also don't update if it's unlocked. And if it's jailbroken and you want to keep your cracked apps, don't update on either any device. As for the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, you know, the iPhone dev team hasn't even been working on that. They've said that already on their blog. That really disappointed me. So, I'm going to update my 2nd Gen, but not my 1st Gen, because I'm going to keep that for jailbreaking videos and stuff like that. And if you didn't know, you're my subscriber. I've been officially back for a week now. My last video was on the 2.2 2.1 firmware sucks. So, let's see if the 2.2 firmware did any better. I know it has a lot of new features. I'm going to show you how to update that in iTunes, which you probably already know how to do. And then after that, cut the video off in Sony Vegas Pro, which is awesome, awesome program. And I will show you all the new features of the 2.2 firmware. Okay, so I'm going to go to the computer screen and show you everything. Alright, guys. This is Sony Vegas Pro 8. Sony Vegas Pro 8, meet my YouTube viewers. I'm too bad, you can't stay for long. So, open up iTunes. Mine's already open. And as you can see right there is my iPod Touch 2nd Gen connected to the computer. Just let it sync up and everything. And it'll say your iPod software is up to date unless you have an automatic update. And just click check for update. As you can see mine is on the 2.1.1 and it says a new iPod software version 2.2 is available for iPod Sleek Touch. Would you like to download and install it now? I'm going to download and install. And it only takes a couple of, you know, while. And it has, you know, bug fixes, as you know, Google Street Maps and all that. But I'll show you that when I get to that part of the video. Um, that's about it for right now. I'm going to wait till it's finished downloading and show you guys the new features for Apple's 2.2 firmware. Let's hope this isn't a total fail. Alright, I'll be back to you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so I finally finished the update process. Probably took about 3 or 4 minutes. It's not that long. Um, and this is my iPod Touch 2nd Gen on the 2.2 firmware. So the first and probably the most easiest new feature of the 2.2 firmware is, um, on any home screen, if you press the home button, it will automatically take you to the very first home screen. So that's that. Pretty simple feature. I don't know why they added that, but it's pretty cool. So here's the next one. Go into settings. General. Go down to date. No. Keyboard. And the much anticipated auto correction on and off feature. I'm turning mine off right now so I don't have to do it later after this video. Uh, and of course, Google Street View on for the maps. Um, I haven't exactly seen that. I don't know where it's at. You know, I tried looking for it in the maps application, but you know, I'll look for it later. Um, probably the next and foremost is Safari. You see, Safari got a new looking. Well, it got a new look. So the status bar at the top is like full. It's completely full. It shows all your um, website information at the top. And Google is no longer hiding from you. It wants you to search. And the, on the left side is the actual HTML and the right side Google. The bottom is still pretty much the same. And the tab mode also the same. All that is still the same. Um, what else is there? Nothing else really. You know, just to fuck better drop calls and all that junk. So that's about it for the firmware 2.2. Just hope it doesn't suck as bad as the 2.1. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. One last big thing that I almost forgot was the podcaster that is in the app store now. Now, where exactly that is, I don't know. I don't want to look for it right now, but um, it shows you like your icons for your social networking and all the categories and stuff like that. And it annoys me that Facebook is the one for social networking, but whatever. Um, featured, everything still looks pretty much the same and featured. And did a search, still looks the same. 
Everything's pretty much the same. But there is podcasts. Just don't know where they're at. So you're going to have to find some of this stuff yourself. Because I can't find it. And, you know, I'll find it later, but whatever. That's for the 2.2 firmware video. And if you couldn't realize, which you probably didn't, I have the invisible shield installed on my iPod Touch 2nd Gen. So I wanted to get scratched. And I'll probably do a video of that right after this. If I get bored. And go play Xbox Live. If you want my gamer tag, it'll be in the description right over there. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Now I have to rough it out and see how I convert this freaking video to WMV so I can edit it in Sony Vegas Pro. Thanks for watching.